And turning now to the weather, meteorologist Steve Sosna is in the First Alert Weather Center. Steve, you have been tracking Tropical Storm Hillary, and what's it look like as it moves into California? Yeah, it's a really tough night, Kelsey. We've been watching this storm really turn into a flash flood element, which we said all along would be the biggest problem. And it's because of California's elevation. The mountains, the passes, the terrain make it extremely hard for these rainfall bands to allow the water to digest. The soil is like clay, and they have big problems here tonight. So we'll continue to follow that story here late tonight. But the National Weather Service in Los Angeles is saying this is a life or death situation. Stay at home. Do not be on the roads. They have numerous rescues happening right now. People trapped, uh, and that's not a good situation here. And it's especially in the mountainous areas. Down at the coastline, they've seen less than an inch. It's all about up here and the higher elevation. So if you know friends or family, make sure that they're hunkered down and riding it out. By tomorrow morning, the storm system will be over for them, and we'll have daylight to see how much of the infrastructure was compromised or not compromised. Hopefully. Uh, Things will work out in our favor, but it doesn't look good here tonight. All right, a live picture outside. We are doing much better closer to home here. We have a mainly clear sky. Tomorrow we have air quality issues just for a day or so. Temperatures in the 90s for your high, so that's rather hot. Humidity won't be out of hand here for tomorrow. We get a break as early as Tuesday and Wednesday. Delightful days. If you're looking for some rain for your garden, your lawn, we were doing better with the rain, but now we've dried up. Thursday through Saturday, we have chances of some showers, and then the tropics, of course, are super busy. So here's your planner for tomorrow. If there's going to be a humidity, it's definitely in the front half of the day. You're feeling it in the morning hours where it could feel above 90 degrees before lunchtime. In the afternoon hours, temperatures capped off low to mid 90s. Definitely the hottest day of the next seven days here with highs in the mid 90s, but nothing that we haven't seen here before. But take all those precautions and make sure that you're good to yourself, your pets, and check in on the elderly. The muggy meter, that's high here tomorrow morning, but look how it takes a dive here on Tuesday again. Another big break from the humidity for several days before the humidity rolls back to town on Thursday with a chance of some much needed showers without any severe weather. So we like to see that. All right, let's peel through the tropics. It got busy really quickly. The good news first this is tropical depression number six. It's going to die off probably within 24 hours. So we can throw that one out. So that's just one in the list. Let's go on to the next one. This is Tropical Storm Emily. Emily's path would keep it safely out to sea. So you don't have to worry about Emily either. But it goes to show you we have a lot of action out there. And we have Franklin. Franklin will be an issue for areas of Haiti and the Southern Dominican Republic, mainly with heavy rainfall upwards of a foot. And if that wasn't enough for you, there's a 70% shot of another storm developing off the coast of Africa and another storm developing potentially in the Gulf. So this is August and into early September. It's hurricane season. Things can ramp up quickly. Luckily, nothing going to impact our weather here for the next seven days, but you always got to watch it. Mid-80s on Tuesday, low 80s on Wednesday. Next chance of showers Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Not washouts. And then by next Sunday, beautiful and 80 degrees. Kelsey. All right, Steve, thank you. Check in tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4.30 for updated news, weather, and traffic.